that's in the country, but over here, I come from the Atlantic Ocean now, from the Mink Map, the people of the Don. Brunswick. New Brunswick, the other side, the Atlantic Ocean. East Coast. East Coast. Yeah. yeah, that's the real East Coast. Uh, no, he's talking. And you know what I mean? Like, fucking, the real East Coast is like fucking the Atlantic Ocean, man. The Atlantic Ocean makes the Pacific Ocean look like a fucking pussy. Pardon the fucking French, but it's the fucking truth. You're okay, brother. You, you get a 20 foot wave out here, you, what happens? Catastrophe, right? Over there. Out there, you just ride the wave. So the reason why. You can surf out there? Eh? You can surf out there? <laughs> if you decide to. <laughs> it's cold though, right? Yeah, uh, fucking right, it's cold. Man. That's how I used to sober up. The first day I went on a lobster boat with my stepdad. And you know what I mean? I'm peeling off my clothes right after we checked all the traps. And you know what I mean? I'm standing on the edge. He says, Where are you going? I'll be right back. And he was like, No, 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 no. He's panicking, right? He never seen somebody jump off the lobster boat. And why? The reason why is like I jump on five, six, seven lobster boats in a day. I jump in because, you know what I mean, I've had, you know, a little bit of coke and a little bit of drink. But I jump in and the colder, I mean, the deeper you go, the colder it gets. You sober you up. Yeah. You get back on board, but you're sober straight as a fucking board. Man. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely put a shock in my body. why I would just, like, um, debate about this is because I'm a, uh, let's say, revert to Islam. I converted to Islam a couple, you know, months ago, um, a couple so, months ago. Can you explain to me about the little bit of Islam so I understand? I don't understand. Nothing yeah, Islam, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll explain it to you. So basically, in Islam, we have a very basic belief, and I think it's very similar to the uh, native belief. I believe that you're from a, a native First, background. First Nations, yeah. Yeah, yeah, First Nations background. So what we believe is that there's one creator to the universe and all that exists, right? We all believe red. Yeah. It's, That's the only fucking color, <laughs> huh? That, you, that creator, he didn't create us without a reason. He created us with a purpose. And that purpose is to worship that one creator, to know him, to do what he says to do, and to stay away from what he says to stay away from. Now, how do we know what that is? That creator sent many prophets and messengers throughout time. Some of them you already know the names of, like Prophet Adam, Prophet Moses, Prophet Noah, Prophet Abraham, Prophet Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, the last and final prophet. Peace be upon all of them. As a Muslim, which means somebody that submits to the will of God, we have to believe in all of the messengers that God sent. And we believe that this God, this creator, the way that he allowed us to know and to keep uh, our, our understanding of what right and wrong is, is he sent revelations to us through those messengers. So some of the books that he sent, you know the name of too, like Torah that was given to the Prophet Moses, mm -hmm. the book of Psalms, the Zabur, which was given to the Prophet, uh, that revelation that was given to the Prophet David the Injil, the Gospel, the revelation that was given to the Prophet Jesus, and the Qur'an, the last and final revelation that has been preserved until now, that has, was given to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all of these messengers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Have you ever wondered how you can support the da'wah? A free way is by subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. If you have a little bit of wealth, then donate so that we can remain independently run, and bilna ta'ala, we can allow the da'wah to spread to all of the world. Jazakallahu khair. And so what we believe as Muslims is that there isn't multiple truths. There's one truth. God does not send confusion into the world for his creation, humans, to not know how to get to heaven and how to stay away from hell. He gives us the understanding of what is right and wrong by sending us prophets and messengers to help guide us to the truth and giving us the revelation, the Quran, which has been preserved until today in order for us to maintain that guidance. You know what, man? Like fucking... Well, I live on my own. I'm a, you know what I mean? I'm my own fucking wolf. Mm. And I want to believe in fucking something. But what, what, what is to believe in when there's people fighting over fucking money, you know what I mean? Religion, and whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? The like prestige. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like fucking, what the fuck is it all about? We're all supposed to be here. You know what I mean? When I roll up my sleeve, if I cut my fucking shit, what color will come out? Yeah. That's the only color on his fucking planet. But. Yeah, yeah. And that's actually an Islamic unbelief, my friend. Is that God says in the Quran, no, no, no Arab, meaning the people that are in the Arabian Peninsula, no Arab is better than a black, and no black is better than an Arab. There it ain't is no color, bro, man. Yeah, exactly. But the the point being is that what Allah says in the Quran to finish that verse is that he says that the only thing that makes you better or worse is the person that has more taqwa meaning the person that fears God the most taqwa. 
Taqwa, yeah. So it's something that. It's Jewish, bro. <laughs> taqwa? Bro, it does. Yeah, when because. You say that. For real, I'm not joking, man. Real? For real? Because, like, it's the mean, words of. a lot of fucking respect, dude, man. For real, from me. Because it's the words of God. It's not my words, right? Like, when Allah uses the word Taqwa, it's supposed to be a word that is. He's selective with a wisdom behind it, right? So that's why I'm saying, my friend, is that. Perhaps the thing that you're looking to believe in is Islam because it's the most natural. I, I know many um, brothers and sisters that are from the First Nations you know, um, background and they find Islam to be in line with their natural understanding of who that creator is already. There's only one. Yeah, there's only one. He doesn't have roommates. He doesn't have partners. You don't need to go through a, a priest sitting in a stall and confess and, your and sins you to him. What? I've been promoting that. There is only one color. There's only red. Mm. The only difference is cultures. Mm. That's all. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. There's only one color. Yeah, because that's, that's blood, right? That's the thing that unites us all is that we're all human beings. You know, some people think they make the mistake and they say, you know, I'm from... A, I'm from the white race, or I'm from the black race, or I'm from the brown race, or the yellow race. There's only one race, and that's the human race. Red. Right? Red. We all bleed red, right? <laughs> so that's the point, is that... There's the only color that exists on this planet, is my belief, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anybody can argue and all that, and you know what I mean? But if you cut that person that's saying that they're a different color, you cut them, what color comes what out? What color comes out, yeah. <laughs> and that's actually, there's a verse in the Quran that might interest you. It says that Allah, He created us in different nations and tribes and different languages so that we may recognize each other. So like, for example, like I imagine that you speak a native language or maybe yes, you... Yes, I do. What? say Dalia. Dalia. Dalia in my language that means how's it going. So like whenever somebody from that particular tribe or nation comes up to you and they know that you're from that nation, you recognize them because they'll say Dalia or something, right? Exactly. Yeah, so it's if I... If, 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 one of, if somebody from my own personal background of Hindi uh, say, uh, Indian, the same word, and they right? say something that I understand, I'll be like, Aap kaise hai? I'll be like, TK, I'm good. Like, I know, how are you? I'm good, right? Because I'll recognize them that they're Thank people. you for making me feel I'm not alone. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, Pretty but like, much. the thing about, rose, right? and that's the thing about Islam, it doesn't matter what country you're from, doesn't matter what tribe you're from, doesn't matter what color you are. There are, like, if you look at us right here, that brother in the white, he's from Mexico. I'm from Fiji. These brothers from Afghanistan. But we're all Muslim. And we all reply, reply to each other by saying, Assalamu alaikum. May the peace of Allah be upon you. Assalamu what? Can you Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Well, Close enough. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's how we recognize each other. That's yeah. how we greet each other. And that's how we make, t we have, in Islam, we have something called a brotherhood, right? It doesn't matter where you so are. Somebody's jumping in between our fucking vibe here, man. I just fucking felt bad fucking shit from that, man. But I let that go. Yeah, yeah. My hand is there in peace, man. Yeah, you that's what, what I mean? I'm saying. If like, you, if, you, if we understand each other, everybody will understand. That's what, what I'm mean? saying, right? Like, if you actually take the time to look into Islam, I guarantee you, you'll resonate it with you. Re it'll resonate with you, bro. Because, like, I believe that if you have sincerity in your heart and you're searching for the truth, as I believe that you are. Allah will guide you to the truth and He will make you a Muslim because if it is written for you to be a Muslim and that you're guided, there's nobody that can misguide you from the truth. And that's why I believe that us having this conversation today is destiny, bro. I really yeah, believe, like, what what what's what your name? May lead to Raymond, man. Raymond? Zayan. I'm real, Zayan. I'm yeah. real, man. You know what I mean? Like, I can... What else do you expect out of fucking today? You know what I mean? There's chaos, chaos everywhere, man. You look around, you know what I mean? You go anywhere, there's chaos. Yeah. People running around fucking, you know, robbing, pillaging, raping, whatever the yeah. fuck, man. And I don't think, like, this is the thing about those particular, and I'm not speaking on behalf of anybody else, I'm just speaking on behalf yeah, of myself. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe that any of those horrible acts is due to any particular religion. I don't think that terrorism has a religion. I believe that people that are doing terrorist acts, they're doing it because they are deviants in their own background. Like they are, Mr. Mr. They're, they're Mr. Their own, right. they have their own mental health situation going on, right? But I believe that if we look at the text that God sent, and especially the Quran, it makes the most sense as to that pristine, re preserved revelation from the Creator that's supposed to guide you to the truth and guide you towards heaven and keep you away from hellfire. I truly believe that. Do you have a Quran? Wait, what? Do you have a Quran, the last revelation to God, uh, from God to mankind? Peace, I, peace. I have one for you. It's a peace. gift. Can I give it to you for as a gift? 
Do you expect a gift back from me? No, I don't want anything from you. All I want you, I expect one thing back, that you read it. Okay, I'll take it and I'll read it, and maybe not right away, but <laughs> I will. So the English translation sure. of the Quran, my friend. This is, this is... Because I can't count that high. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. This is the English translation of the Quran. It is the exact words of Allah the Creator. It is, yes. not, is not the words of Prophet Muhammad, it is not the words of any prophets or historians like other revelations. This is God talking to us directly. Normally, I don't accept stuff like this, mm. but this seems really fucking important. It is, bro. Fucking French, man. It is, bro. The reason but why... I'll, I'll read this. The reason why I say it's important for you is because none of us know when we're going to die. But on when we do die, and we're facing the judgment day, that's when we're that's when we're that's when we're going to be very aware of what's going on, and whether or not we're going to be saved on that day of judgment. You know what I mean? So it's very important because there's only two options after we die: heaven or hellfire. And I want for you, my friend, to go to hell. Uh, to go to go to heaven. To I'm, go well, to I'm heaven. going straight to hell just for you, motherfucker. <laughs> if you can, if you read it and you have any questions, my friend. Come back and ask us anything you want. So you want me? You want me to give you a fucking uh, want me a descriptive fucking narrative of how it is down there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't believe that. I truly believe, bro. If you read it and you are sincere, Allah will guide you, and He'll well, make I'm you. I'm sincere the... about creating peace amongst us, man. Because there's only one fucking color, man. Yeah. It's red. Yeah. There's nobody better than and less than. Thanks for the conversation, bro. I hope God guides you to the truth, yeah? We all got to see eye to eye, right? Because yeah, there's yeah. only one color. Yeah. All right. That's my belief, man. You know? All right, man. It was nice talking to you, bro. And I... Don't tell my mother about this, man. <laughs> I don't even know her, bro. Up, man. Have a good one, yeah? Have you ever wondered how you can get involved with the da'wah? Firstly, if you are able to, subscribe, like, and share this video so that it spreads to all places of the world. But if you have some wealth, inshallah, donate so that you can help spread the da'wah and we can be independently run. Jazakallahu khair.